Good day, I am your host, Apollo O'Sullivan, and you are watching The Apollo O'Sullivan Show. <laughs> Tonight's guests include the Minotaur, a man that's walked very far, Odysseus, King Midas, and Medusa. <laughs> but first up, it's the half man, half Minotaur, the Minotaur. <laughs> to see you might have told me we've been wanting you on the show for a while. The first question I've got to ask you is you have an MTV Cribs appearance coming up later this month and I can't wait to see what it's like. I do, I, I can't reveal too much, it's all a surprise, however after my tragic home invasion I have had it fully decked out to the highest luxury. I have to come over and see it soon and you also have a new diet to run me through what this is like. I do, I felt like it wasn't good for my soul, this whole people eating thing. I really, I really need to go in a new direction. And that is when I found veganism. Now, you also have had, recently had a kerfuffle with a, a bad guy that entered your home in a home invasion. We actually have a sketch image of this done by one of our amazing interns. Um, if you see this man, do not go near him, do not engage with him, run. He is dangerous, scary. Look what he did to this. Terrifying beast. I'm sorry, man. No, that is just not true. He came to our village. Terror the horrible man has been removed. Um, please do not be scared or worried. Security did it perfectly. Please calm down. Grab yourself a drink. Whilst we bring on our next guest, and this next guest is coming all the way from the House of Gold, it's Midas. You are the gold, always believe in your soul. You got the power to know, you're indestructible. Always believe in. Thank you, Midas. Before I take a seat, I'd like to thank you for my seat. It is 24 karat, I'm assuming? Well, first I'd like to say, that's all right, because you know, I've got my golden touch. <laughs> <laughs> I can assure you this won't be appearing on Antiques Roadshow. Now let's resume the questions. You have recently had some issues with your daughter. What has this been like? Well, it's been hard. I go downstairs, I see my daughter, I give her a hug, she freezes. Literally just stops moving at all, blanks me out. Must be puberty or something, I don't know. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I had no puberty too. Now, um, you also have some poison allegations about your your diet. What is this about? Oi, that is all false news, people. My 24 karat gold diet is absolutely fine, honestly. Yes. Uh, you've also have a new album coming out soon, and um, is it a world exclusive? Are you announcing it here first? think I just might be. So, right, ahead. I'll be releasing my new album, House of Gold, retailing for £3,000. It's solid gold, solid music. You are going to love it. You can buy it now, tonight. Please, please, please. That's a very affordable album, in my opinion. Now, um, you actually, speaking about the booze, you have had some poison allegations recently about your diet and people have been having heavy metal poisoning. What's this been about? Wait, wait, mate. This is all lies, fake news. The media, the paparazzi, they want to stop my rise to fame. It's just lies. 24 karat gold is a great diet plan. Trust me. Thank you, Midas. I'm sure everyone will be now wanting to get on that. Please take a seat as we bring out our next guest as they have walked so, so far to get here. It is Odysseus! I will walk 500 miles and I will walk 500 more Just to be the man who walks a thousand miles and fall down at your door Na da 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 Please take a seat, I'm sure you've been standing for a while Now, Odysseus Lovely to have you on the show. You, we've wanted to have you on for a while, but it's taken you quite some time to get here. Um, have a, a board game coming out later on. What's this about? So, um, like you pick up a chance card and it'll say, oh, we need to go back to the start, or Zeus is going to come get you. So, pretty realistic. 
Yeah, I can relate. Now, you also have a touching tribute to those that you lost along the way. Please, take the stage. I love you, Soldier One. Aww. I'm sure that was hard to deliver. Now, a bit more of a nicer thing. You managed to win your wife back. First of all, how and wow. Tell us about this. So, I got back from my very long journey and there seemed to be like men like all across my house. So, I heard that we had to do this competition to get <coughs> my wife back. And so I disguised myself and I won. And so I had to kill them. <laughs> Disguises and murder, any good part of a marriage. Now, please, Odysseus, sit down as we bring out our final guest of the night. This is a person who has a head full of snakes. It is Medusa. I can't see me loving nobody but you. You're all my life. For goodness sake. <laughs> Medusa, thank you for the decoration you've given the studio. Some poor interns are going to have to clean that up. Um, Medusa, you are very popular and a lot of your fans want to know, how do you sleep at night? Because having snakes for hair must be hard. Are you awake when they're asleep? Are you asleep when they're awake? Well, I've been asked this many times. My snakes and I, we're like this. We are one. When I'm happy, they're happy. When I'm sad, they're sad. So when I'm asleep, they're also asleep. Now we're moving on to a different kind of snake here. You've had some boy issues in the past. What's this been about? Poseidon, mainly. No need to name drop, but he's been acting very fishy recently. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's all I will say on that. I can see, I can see. Now you also have recently become a mother and I'm sure your parenting technique might be different when you have such a, a lovely gift we should say. Well, my youngest has also been gifted. gifted. Yeah. Um, so we bond over our love of our snakes, but I have to say my number one pride and joy is my snakes. You haven't turned your children to stone yet? Because I know that would be the first thing I would do. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I make sure to wear my sunglasses around them. Ah, oh, lovely mother. I like mine. Now we have some time, so audience, questions? Yes, you in the back. Um, what, how do you clean your snakes, Medusa? Well, every night I sing them a lullaby and we go through each one and shampoo each one. Um, yeah, no animal to cruelty. There's none of this on this show either. Next question, for you. Why well, just how are you dealing with the hate on your newest album? Well, you see, I tried to block out the hate, but anyone who does hate on me, I will give them the golden touch if they're not careful. Yeah. Midas, there are rumours that some of the golden products you've released have been fool's gold. Is this true? Oh. No, 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 no. All real. 100% like a golden chair. I can say it does very much feel like I'm sitting on gold. Exactly. Next question, you. Yeah. Odysseus, what type of brand of shoes do you wear? Uh, well, I actually use Nike. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, next question, one more, there. Um, what type of shampoo do you use, mine at all? Anything really, you know? I just go to my nearest tractor store and get head and shoulders. Looks for me. Woo! Unfortunately, that is all we have time for tonight. Uh, give it up for our lovely panel one last time. Woo! We'll be back next week with Hercules on the show in a strength contest. But all that's left now to say is goodbye, everyone. Woo!